Once quality separated winning firms from sluggish ones, and that time is long since, since passed. And with the fierce competition of the international market, quality means survival and nothing less. To compete and win in the international arena, United States companies are simply going to have to offer product and services that are world class. And that's the purpose behind this award. And it's a national purpose. The four different and diverse companies being honored here today all share a common commitment to excellence in quality products or services, management, and customer satisfaction. Each of them has proven its mettle. Each of them has earned its top gun or world-class status. And each and every mark has made in America as its mark of excellence. This is the unique story of the Wallace Company, the first small service business to win the Malcolm Baldridge National Quality Award. In the mid-1980s, this Houston-based, family-owned distributor of pipe, valves, and fittings to the chemical, petrochemical, refining, and engineering and construction industries was facing a crisis unlike any it had faced before. Uh, the Texas oil industry collapsed and the international prices of, of uh, oil had fallen from over $40 a barrel to approximately $18 a barrel. Uh, Wallace Company found itself in a situation where we were sailing in some very turbulent waters and many of our competitors and many of our customers alike were going bankrupt on a daily or weekly basis and uh, we found ourselves on that same uh, verge of devastation. When one of Wallace's customers publicly stated that all of its suppliers would be comprehensively assessed regarding quality issues, and only those receiving the highest ratings would receive its business, Wallace responded immediately. Without a quality movement, the company could not have survived. Reorganization had to occur to meet this all-important challenge. Each member of Wallace's leadership team attended over 200 hours of training in quality to aid management in promoting total quality throughout the company. Sanders & Associates, a quality training firm, was retained to develop and conduct a confidential and objective needs assessment. The people that made the uh, uh, analysis came in and, and uh, they talked about the things that were problems to all of our associates, uh, things such as lack of communication, things as uh, uh, lack of training. At the same time, though, there were some perceptions of the company that were real good, and, and I think those perceptions were honesty and integrity, and uh, the fact that the company had stood for a lot of those values throughout the year, the, our associates were very proud of that. But the needs assessment provided more than what was initially sought by Wallace. The beauty of the whole process here is the fact that there are many heroes in this organization. You know, we've got heroes that identified they had deficiencies in basic skills and they led the way for us moving in the area of, of providing them with educational assistance. After intensive curriculum analysis with Sanders, over $700,000 was invested in quality training for all of Wallace's associates in key areas of quality utilizing the tools of statistical process control, or SPC, data collection, coaching styles, leadership development, communications, and innovation. The result of this training and re-education was a wealth of both team-based and individual suggestions from associates regarding process improvement, streamlining, and eliminating unnecessary overhead. As is the case in many companies, restructuring often means labor cutbacks. But Wallace would not jeopardize what it views as its most important asset. We're all striving towards the same end. Since John made the public pledge of no one would lose their job over quality, it just reinforces everyone's commitment to strive for the good of the, uh, of the company versus just themselves. You know, back in the 83 and 84, it was, should we actually work towards streamline it? Because if we do, they're going to see that they don't need me anymore. 
it changed the whole culture of our company when John made that pledge. I think one of the biggest challenges is first to show the associates that the total commitment is there. Secondly, you must take on the hurdle of driving out fear within the organization. One way management demonstrated this commitment was in the actual process used to review suggestions from employees, or as Wallace prefers, associates. We had a suggestion system. We had the box in the cafeteria area. But, uh, unfortunately for us, cobwebs usually got in there and filled the box up before we got in and got a suggestion. And by that time, the associate in most cases had no idea that he made the suggestion. He forgot. And uh, so the difference today is that they're guaranteed a 24-hour response. And um, all suggestions today under QQuest go directly to our chief executive officer. The Quality Management Steering Committee developed 16 quality strategic objectives targeting specific clear-cut goals. Though these QSOs are revised annually, their common bonds are continuous quality improvement, peak productivity, and premium customer service. Wallace's leadership team realized that in order to truly provide quality products and services, it must apply itself to learning all it can about its most important critics. That only customers can define quality, and in short, it begins and ends with the unsentimental judgment of the marketplace. By benchmarking numerous quality renowned companies, Wallace found that partnering with both customers and suppliers was imperative. Partnering is the unique process of assessing what all parties can do to enhance their cumulative quality of products and services. Wallace began to require quality certification from each supplier and offered them quality training. As a result, Wallace reduced their supplier base from over 2,000 vendors to 325. Customer partnering and frequent customer surveys paved the way for a new level of understanding to where we really sit down and analyze the needs of the customer. And I'm not talking just the purchasing agent that represents the end user, the customer. I'm talking about the receiving people, the field people, uh, the engineering, all the people in, these, in, in the end user community, listening to what they expect and what they want of a supplier. New value-added products and services were developed and offered to Wallace's customers, including the innovative Dow Plastic Line Piping System and a valve actuation division, which designs, installs, tests, and services actuated products. Quality teams were formed to analyze and address specific quality issues. Associates were empowered to make numerous customer service decisions, which were previously reserved by management. One of the most powerful tools that you can have within your organization is to give your people, your associates, the empowerment, the empowerment to make decisions. And once your associates know that their input is important to the day-to-day -day operation, to the future of your company, then you have unleashed a potential that is beyond your wildest imagination because these associates will show you which is the road to the future and they are the future within the company. State-of-the-art computer technology was utilized to assist Wallace's associates in data processing, information sharing, SPC-based problem solving and in accessing numerous SPC-based tracking charts. All sales invoices and customer histories were previously form-based. Now, a full 40% of all incoming orders are processed using Wallace's electronic data interchange. In 1989, Wallace applied itself to the demanding criteria of the Malcolm Baldridge National Quality Award. But the rewards of its quality improvement and customer service efforts were already a matter of public record. On-time delivery performance soared from 75% to over 92%. Sales activity increased 69%. The near doubling of their market share from 10% to 18%. 37% lower turnover. A 54% decrease in absenteeism. 
the highest quality rating ever issued by Monsanto Chemical and the single highest sales per associate statistics in the entire industry. All in the matter of three years. And Wallace's associates were honored in October of 1990 when the news came that Wallace had received the Malcolm Baldridge National Quality Award. To be part of this program really makes me proud that I'm an American. At Wallace Company, all of our associates had realized the dream come true. But we also realized that after the dream, daybreak comes. And with it, we have new responsibilities. We intend to honor those responsibilities and to try to spread the word of quality in this country. And that brings me then to the Wallace uh, Company of Houston, Texas. The Wallace Company proved that, uh, that uh, quality is not just for the Fortune 500. This small distributor of industrial goods not only survived the recent rough economic times in Houston, it proved that even in tough times, you can still commit to long-term improvements in quality. Wallace Company, a shining, accessible example of America's renewed commitment to excellence through total quality management.